Good day, welcome to my channel. I'm Stafford, and today we'll be talking about the Mapex Armory uh, drum kit. Um, we'll be talking about my personal kit. Um, it's a six piece, so 10 by 7, 12 by 9, 14 by 12, and 16 by 14. Um, with a 22 by 18 king drum and a 14 by 5.5 snare drum, which is the tomahawk snare, which comes with the shell pack. And firstly, most shell packs do not come with snares, but Mapex has decided that they would want to add a snare into this. And for me personally, it helps any musician out. You know a lot that you get me snare with your shell pack as most times you buy the shell pack you want but you need to spend so much more money just to get the snare so this is one of the good things that my page is doing um, so before we go further please make sure you subscribe to my channel for my future videos I will be doing more reviews on um, drum gear as well as studio gear um the next video i'll be uploading will be about the symbol pack that i use which is the a391 zolzen uh, symbol pack but yeah that's for the next video so to talk more about the mapix the shells are hybrid shells so with that said it is maple and birch uh, and i think the way it's laid out it's it's a the outer layer will be birch then the center will be maple and then birch so the maple is like sandwiched in um in between the the, the birch so you get the attack and the warmth that you want out of you know one shell pack instead of having to go between two different kits where you get different tones and different attacks and feels on just a maple kit and just a birch kit and for me personally this kit has the most amazing tone um, there are drum kits in the 40,000 ram bracket uh, 60,000 ram bracket which yes it's, it's your more professional drum kits but in terms of, of what you're getting with the uh, uh, Mapex Armory, I think the retail now is about 25,000, 25, 26,000 for the for the six piece shell pack, and that will be a full retail. Um, and the the type of quality you're getting is so amazing. So the one up from this, actually the what is it called now? The satin series. Sorry. So the satin series drum kit it, it it's walnut and maple i think yeah walnut and maple sounds really amazing but they've brought down some of the technology that they've been using on those kits to the armory which is below the satin and trust me it adds a lot to the to the overall tone and body of the kit Let's talk about the bearing edges. The bearing edges are set more to a more 45 degree angle, so you get your head to sit more flat on on the on the shell pack um, on the shell, and it helps with easier tuning. Um, that it sits flat and level it helps to keep the drum in tune way longer than than the the shell packs where you get that little sharp point on top and then the skin needs to sit on that point so this bearing edge has 45 degree angle which is perfect and then you get the the um what do you call them the tom suspensions um, which is also the sonic clear uh, technology that helps with maintaining the resonance in your tones okay so um, that is I think by far right now in, in terms of the price bracket for this kit 
the best technology you'll find in terms of what you'll be getting and where this kit can actually take you and my my drum kit was used at the Grand West Grand Arena for the Mark Me Famous um, show that's actually showing today or tonight at about 9 or 10 o'clock so um, yeah that's where you'll be able to see my kit being used on the show on TV which is pretty cool um, so you can do a professional shows and gigs with this kit and not having to spend you know stupid amounts of money just to get a, a professional kit um, talking about the floor toms, the floor tom feet, okay, are also sonic clear technology. So that helps with um, pulling out the vibration, okay, basically away from the from the shell pack, and it takes a lot of strain away from the from the rods as well, from the tuning rods as well as with the, the, the sonic clear tom mounting system um just to actually show you something this is what it looks like on the tom if you can see properly the light so it's a bit of a nice free flow system there and it's pretty well and solid um so basically you'll just have to loosen this slide it onto the, the mounts and then lock it up and on the top mounts you actually get um, a lot of free rain with adjusting the toms to how you need it to be in your preferred position so um, you won't be struggling with positioning the toms because it's not um, on the bass drum it is hanging off the, the, the cymbal stands um, so for me personally, one of the best kits made. Um, by the way, I'll be putting a video in um, of a, a of playing drums a bit on the kit, so you can actually get the idea of the tone of the kit. It will be someone else. Um, it, it was one of the previous videos um, covers that we did. So I'll be taking the music out just so they can hear the kit basically on its own. Um, however, the snare won't be in there, um, which is fine. Um, you can check out some of the previous videos uh, with Tony and Unity um, doing their playthroughs where you can hear the snare as well. Um, yeah, uh, actually with this kit I also have the Emperor Clears on. So it's a, it's a two-ply head. Um, perfect for this kit. Um, it brings out so much tone, so much warmth out of the, 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 the shell pack as well, which is really amazing because a lot of people tend to, to you know, kill the tone of the drums. Um, I've heard a lot of, lot of uh, playthroughs out there where you can hear the tech. On the, on the on the toms but you can't hear the the tone really that much with me i prefer to hear attack and tone so check you 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 you'll get to hear what i'm speaking about when i play the later in the video the, when you hear the the, the, the drum play through so also on the 16 by 14 floor tom don't underestimate the depth of the tones. It is so amazing that you get so much sustain and so much tone out of a 16 by 14, even a, a, a 10 by 7. Um, if you do get a lot of overtones, just make sure that you maybe use some, some um, moon gel or some drum money. Uh, to put it on your 16 inch floor tom. You even see a lot of the professionals use the drum and it, it, it just kills a little bit of the of the um, sustain uh, and overtones because you don't want too much overtones um, when recording or even playing live. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, once again, subscribe and like this video. Also, 
do it the bell for future notifications and stay tuned because the playthrough will be coming up.